I've been here for four of the last five years. I um, was here for the first summit, uh, missed one in the middle. And what I've noticed over the last five years is not only a growth in the number of people who attend, but kind of a expansion of the breadth of people that come, uh, whether it's basic scientists, whether it's clinicians, sometimes it's even athletes. And it's been kind of a dramatic kind of coalescence of people with a variety of interests focused on, it could be cartilage, it could be bone, it could be tendon, it could be sports, but it's been amazing what's kind of what's come together is that those groups of people have kind of come together to talk about kind of the latest advances that might translate into something that will help people be healthier. So I became involved with the Vail Summit primarily because Mike Shannon is a friend of mine and Mike had a vision of bringing initially four groups together. He is heavily committed in the University of Wisconsin-Madison where I'm a dean of the School of Veterinary Medicine. He's also committed to Northwestern, Mayo, and obviously he's been at Vail for decades. And so he wanted to bring groups from all four of those together to kind of focus on regeneration. For our group, it's primarily cartilage, but Johnny Hoard is obviously part of that group. And so he tasked Johnny pretty early on in us kind of coordinating to why not have this scientific summit that brings people from all over the world together. And I think the story is that Johnny was asked in June put together a meeting for August, and Johnny pulled it off. The discoveries that we're making, I believe over the next 10 to 20 years, will have a tremendous impact on the future of people aging in a much better and more positive and healthier way.